Hi, it's Coach Please um, from Strength and Performance Gym. I'm just going to show you today one of um, my favourite recipes, a quick and simple recipe to you. So most of us um, own a slow cooker. Um, they're pretty cheap from the supermarket. If you haven't got one, get hold of one. Obviously, they're a lifesaver. Basically, you could cook this, um, start preparing your food and cook it first thing in the morning so it's, it's ready for when you get home at night. Or, as an alternative, you could do, cook this overnight and it's ready for the morning. Um, batch cook, prepare the meals accordingly and then obviously you've got enough food then for the week ahead. Um, a lot of us decide to obviously um, not prepare our own food, we'll go to the shop um, at lunch break, we'll pick maybe salad boxes, something which we think is deemed healthy, pre-packed sandwich or a pasta salad, I think that's really good for us. Whereas in fact a lot of these um, ha do have chemicals in, um, we don't know how long they've been there you know, on, on the shelves for, and you know, the full of saturated fat. So it's definitely a better option to start preparing your food. And this is obviously one method which you can do, which is quick and simple if you are short on time. Using the slow cooker to mix up some, um, or make some chicken dishes would be a really, really good idea if you've not done this before. So what I'm gonna show you is just a few ingredients and how you can kind of get this ball rolling really. So I've got um, here chicken breasts, which I would put in whole. Uh, the main reason for this is once they're cooked for a long time, they are going to shred. Um, I would be looking to cook this overnight, so I'd prepare it in the morning, first thing in the morning, wake up obviously, get this done before work, and when I get home from work, this will be ready. So you're ready to shred, add whatever you want as a side dish, okay? Um, so just as a suggestion as well, I've got some red chilies which I would dice. I mean, the smaller they are, obviously the hotter they are, so feel free to take some seeds out if you need to do, if you don't like them too spicy, or Again, feel free to leave them out. Um, a stock cube or a, um, a pot, which I could use to add a bit more seasoning um, also. Red onion, diced. One or two garlic cloves, obviously depending on how many people you need this for, how many portions you're making. Some chopped tomatoes, which will be your base, okay? Nice and simple. Some black pepper. Obviously, make sure you taste the recipe, so um, have a little try, see what you think of that, and make sure it's not too hot. Um, if you need to do, you can add other ingredients to, to that as well. Um, and then some basic store cupboard spices. So here we have um, hot chilli powder, again, obviously a fan of hot stuff, and then Cajun seasoning as well, and paprika too. So most of us have got a wide variety of selection of spices which we can add. Um, be inventive with it as well. So make sure that you're adding different flavours into it, make it a little bit more exciting. So as I say, you know, you've cooked this for seven, eight hours, you're home from work, um, drain, shred the chicken, pop it on a plate, feel free to add some, maybe some rice with it, some sweet potato, um, however you like, some vegetables, and then go from there. So for more information on this recipe and others we've got available, have a look on the level one manual.